Hello everyone, this is The Pretend Critic and thank you for viewing my channel. So I just recently watched The Meg or the Megalodon versus Jason Statham movie. It stars uh, Ding Ding Ding, uh, Paige Kennedy, it stars Rain Wilson, also stars Cliff Curtis uh, of uh, Fear of the Dead fame. For the story of this movie was Jason Statham's job was deep sea uh, diver rescue. Something happened in the research uh, called Mino One. This is the research that you see in the trailer. He is asked to save some of the crew that went down in the Marina Trench, hence called Mino One. Marina Trench, if you don't know, is the deepest part of the ocean. So, Jason Statham was called, he comes in and tries to save the crew that's uh, trapped in the marina trench. By the way, one of the crew mates or crew members of the one that's trapped is his wife or ex-wife. And that's where the story begins. Jason Statham is called to rescue a uh, crew. So what didn't work with uh, the Megalodon or the Meg <laughs> movie, I always say that. The script. Some of the dialogue did not work. It was flat. It was something that if you watch that movie, you don't even need to hear the dialogue. It's just a placeholder so it could move the story along. The other one is the premise. 75 foot or 70 foot shark way down in the marina trench. Supposedly there's like a layer of cloud that's not allowing them to go up and they uh, puncture the hole. Uh, and then that's when the Megalodon uh, shows up and wreaks havoc. Did not work was the dialogue between Jason Statham and Li, Ling, Li Bing Bing's uh, character. It just felt like it was forced. It was not, not natural. But what did work, the scenes underwater where you see the shark or sometimes lack of seeing the shark. That's when they paid homage or salute. To Jaws which was great because you would just feel it and you can just hear the Jaws uh, team and it would just be <laughs> showing <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> if I scared you but yeah it would be like that and that worked found out as well is this little girl Sophie Kelly or Sophie Chai she was the heart and soul of the movie. Perfect. She played perfectly and she was one of the natural. Because with some movies uh, like Jurassic World, uh, the kids are just throwaway or just set pieces like a piece of furniture. Work was the shark itself. The special effects wasn't great but it worked because the scale was right. And the surprise for me was Rain Wilson playing the billionaire that funded the research in Mina One. Uh, Eli Musk type. Why was he surprising? Because he had the complexity of being compassionate but also being a heartless billionaire. I would say watch it in Dolby, watch it in IMAX, watch it in the biggest screen and the loudest because when those scenes that work like underwater, it is fantastic. If you can just fast forward the dialogue or even mute it while you're watching it in movie theater, this might be an A+. It was a tale of two movies. One, trying to be campy like the trailer, but failed. Two, trying to be scary, uh, suspenseful, and tense, which work. This was better if it was an R, but it's PG-13, and I get it, money. But it shows. It needed more of the intensity and less of the campiness. So the question now is, is it more of a Jaws and a Sharknado? It's in between. It was more of Jaws because of the underwater scene, because of the not showing the shark, the tense, but it was more of Sharknado when it tried to be campy, it tried to choke. So in conclusion, I would say the people that should watch this are people that just want to go ahead and turn off their thinking cap, sit back and relax. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you've watched it and if you haven't watched it, tell me if you are expecting to watch it. And please support my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button.